Hi guys, it's Sandy and welcome to another video. Today we're doing the Crazy Crafty Birds with the Bird Crazy stamp set from Tim Holtz and they're just so much fun. I wanted to put all six birds on one thing but I didn't want to make a card that big so I'm using Crafty Friends are the Best of Friends sentiment from Hero Arts on a wall hanging that I'm going to hang in my craft room. Each one of the little birds, I've got them kind of positioned just on tracing paper and I've sketched in the crafty items that they're going to be holding. And you'll see more of that as we go on. And I'm going to transfer it onto some watercolor cardstock using my Artograph. And this is a light pad 920. They have a bigger one and I wished I'd gotten the bigger one. I might have to switch out and get the bigger one. There's also one that's battery operated if you don't want to be near a plug. But you just turn it on. You can see real quickly, you can see through tracing paper really well. So whenever I do sketches that I want to transfer onto my watercolor paper, that's usually what I do. I, I use this. And you can't see through it really well when the lights are on. However, all you have to do is turn the lights off and you can see very, very well through it. So I'm not going to put you through watching me trace in the dark, but I will be back in just a moment with the finished piece. And I'm back. Look how fast I am. I'm uh, taking a kneaded eraser and getting rid of most of the lead. I pressed a little harder than I probably wanted to, but I also wanted to make sure that my hand doesn't brush up against any of this and move it across the surface of the paper. This is actually the Good Arches cardstock, uh, watercolor cardstock, 140 pound, I believe it is. And it's really the expensive stuff. I'm not sure what made me pull this out, but you know, there you have it. <laughs> I'm uh, using my Inktense pencils. I just got the brand new big set. Well, not the brand new big set. Brand new to me because I only had the set of 12 before. So now I bought myself the 36 so I'd have more colors. And I'm not going to put you through slowly coloring all six birds, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how these work. So you can color multiple colors on each one. And I'm basically tracing the image and just going around the edges and then going in with a water brush. Well, either you can use a water brush or you can use, use a regular brush with water. And what I do is use two jars of water whenever I'm doing any kind of watercolor. One is for rinsing my brush, so I get paint out of it. The other is if I want to pick up clean water. So as I'm painting along here, I'm picking up ink or picking up the ink tents, ink paint, whatever whatever's in this pencil. I'm picking it up on my brush and if I go to an area that I want to be lighter like down here on the belly then I need clean water to do that so it'll be a softer color and um, I'm gonna run through in this video just certain pieces of each one of the six birds where I learned something because since this is the first time that I've used the 36 set I learned quite a bit uh, one of which is that you can definitely layer colors. So I'm layering some green over top of the blue because I wanted him to be a little little bit on the greener side. And we've got a little little apron on him, little crafty apron, happy little crafter, birdie. I'm not sure why I keep saying him. I try to give some of them sort of eyebrows and, you know, floofy tail, like the, the green bird there has a floofy tail that didn't have in the stamp that kind of stuff. Just making some adjustments for the fact that these are girl crafters. Um, so this little birdie is getting layered and I'm drawing right on top of wet watercolor paint. Um, it's okay to do that. You get a softer line and it doesn't blend as well when you put it over top of a uh, cardstock that's already wet. So there's some of it that I just wanted to be a sketchy line so I did it after painting it. This little birdie, I had to do some adjusting to the drawing so that there could be two wings because a one-winged bird couldn't fly. <laughs> I had to draw the feet in so that they were soaring in the air and then tuck the scissors underneath of the wing. And let's see, next birdie. This one was interesting because I thought I was using an orange pencil and a brown pencil to do this. And the top section here came out kind of yellow. And it's like, hmm, okay, I guess that pencil isn't actually orangey. It's more of a, a yellow gold. But then watch what happens down here at the bottom. That is the same color as on the top of the head there. And it somehow went to the brown side. And I think I might have had some pencil from the brown tail. 
I'm not really sure exactly what happened, but I'll be doing some more with the Inktense pencils. And when I do that, I'll call out more of the colors, but I've lost track now what colors I used for what. So sorry about that. They do have labels on the Inktense pencils so you can find out what colors they are. I just don't know. The little owl is holding a card and the bird before him, of course, is holding a T-square. But look at these glasses that I put on the owl. I decided not to put the eyes in and just make them glasses. I thought that was really cute, holding a little card. And all of their feet and little details I'm drawing in with a Sharpie. And the Sharpie you can um, is watercolor friendly, so it's not going to bleed if you watercolor right next to it. But after I get done with all the painting, I actually go through and do a lot more Sharpie detail. And there's a little trick on the this little bird. He wasn't very happy in the, the stamp. It's kind of a sad looking puzzled bird. And I wanted it to look like a happier bird, so I put eyebrows. Pretty much if you do eyebrows like up and in facing the way that they're facing and arced that way, any character is gonna look happier. So just a word to the wise if you ever need to happy up a character. Look, look at the eyebrows and what they're doing. I needed a scene, of course, because I'm me and that's what I do. So I put a crafty table because we can't craft if we don't have a table. And then I started doing something that turned into a problem later that I learned from, which is that I shouldn't have started drawing all of the paper and pens and leftover little bits on the floor until I colored the floor. <laughs> because in just a couple seconds I figure out, oh yeah, I should have done that. So I got out my Kiritake watercolors just so I could flood some color underneath of them so they'd have something to stand on. And I'm getting all kinds of bleeding, but you know, it is what it is. So it's gonna hang on my wall and and this will be my learning experiment. I'll remember what I learned from this. But I can draw on top of it, so that's not a huge issue. So I'm going to add just more details. So here's some washi tape. I added a little stack of papers and now confetti because I feel like I'm having a party with my friends all weekend. I'm in Ohio at a crafty retreat. And here is the finished piece, which I think is really cute. And again, it will hang on my wall. And then I also did a card with that little owl. I thought that would be fun to do for one of the ladies because we're having a crafty gift exchange and this one's gonna go in with my crafty gift. All right, you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you on Friday with one more video. Take care, bye-bye.